Hello, this is Vince White. I'm an employment attorney on this channel. I just, I just bit my tongue. I bit my tongue being stupid. That's, that's who I am. <laughs> on this channel, we answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users, getting folks the answers they need from an employment attorney. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. It helps me to help more people just like you. And now I have all the stuff out of the way. I can actually read the question. Uh, YouTube user Barney, not going to read the rest of your name because it might be a real name, asked us, Hey Vince, great channel. Really enjoy your videos. Thank you. My question to you is, what happens when my employer evades the process server for the complaint and summons? Okay, so generally speaking, that's just not an issue in this field because most employers have a physical place of business and in most states and jurisdictions, that makes them super duper easy to serve. Are there rare instances where maybe your employer is overseas and like isn't in the country very often and it's difficult? Yeah, yeah, that stuff happens. Like those issues happen. And essentially you hire better process servers who are actually going to catch them when they're in the country, things like that. Um, listen, if your employer has no contacts in the U.S. and you're just working for them, but they're never here and they're not, they don't have money in U.S. bank accounts and all these things. Listen, stuff's going to get a little difficult. You got to talk to your attorney about that. That's going to be a highly specialized issue and you're going to have to get a little creative, right? But generally speaking, yeah, like there's very, very few employers that are going to be able to dodge the process server. Like the process servers know what they're doing as long as you're paying for a decent one. And um, they're just going to go to the place of business and be like, you're served. We're done, right? Um, in most jurisdictions, like you don't need to, like all these concepts in the movies and stuff about like, catching the person and serving them and does that occasionally happen yeah but you're talking like one out of like 1000 cases something something to that effect so i wouldn't worry about it um it's just not a realistic issue in this field and if it is a realistic issue that you're facing talk to your attorney hire a better process server it's easy to handle good luck like subscribe comment down below take care everybody